Hello. So today Laura and I are going for a couple of days break up to Glencoe. Um, so just doing Thursday to Sunday, um, staying at the Isles of Glencoe Hotel. Um, start of March, the good thing is, is Glencoe is absolutely covered in snow. Uh, temperature has been a wee bit milder today, which kind of makes me worry. So I hope we go up there and find out that it's still absolutely Baltic and keep the snow in the hills. So hopefully I'll have a lot of opportunity in the mornings, to find them not hungover. Um, to go out and have a few pictures taken and obviously use sunset as well. I'm going to try and take a pop down to the Glenfinnan Viaduct and a few other places um, but obviously there was a Glencoe that's got a pool so mainly we're there to relax. So she thinks. <laughs> uh, but I'll go out in the mornings and go out late at night and try and get a few shots. Um, so looking forward to it and we'll see how it goes. Hotel and the room's really really nice and the view we've got is even better it just looks out onto the Papa Glencoe and at the moment there's a big rainbow sitting in the lock as well which is really nice so gonna have get ourselves kind of checked in and relax a wee minute or two and then I'll maybe go out and try and get a quick photograph on the lock and then go for dinner and have a couple of beers and the good news is is that the pool is open till what time? 10 o'clock So just back at the hotel and having a look at some of the shots on the laptop, it worked out really well. We had just arrived and the sunset was only about half an hour away but the light was really really good. So really happy with the shots because never expected to get a shot tonight. Uh, so for the rest of the night I'm going to chill out, I'm going to have a beer, I'm going to have a couple of whiskies, go get some tea to the clacky again, go for a swim and go up in the morning hopefully and see how the conditions are then. The weather tomorrow is to be well, sunny for the main part, 
and um, with some high altitude cloud in the morning and uh, so it should make for quite a nice shot that's if i can get up and um, so we'll see what happens tomorrow five during the night last night the conditions are amazing this morning it's quite clear but there's quite a lot of cloud about um it's really cold when i got up there and looked out the hotel window the lock was just like a mirror so i'm really spoiled for choice this morning um i really don't know where i'm gonna go i think i'm gonna head up to booklet of more and still got about half an hour to the sunrises so i'm gonna have a look around there and just see uh, what's what and find some compositions and just try and stick with one instead of moving from one to the other. Uh, so we better get ourselves up there before the sun comes up and pray that we get a nice sunrise. <laughs> famous waterfall which has to be probably one of the most photographed places in the country. I've taken this shot a few times but never had, actually had the perfect sunrise. Um, sun's due up in about 15 minutes and standing looking at the moment it could be excellent so I'm going to keep my fingers crossed and hope for the best. <laughs> finally managed to get the shot of the buckle with the light on it which is great so I have decided to walk a wee bit up the river Co and I've actually found there's some ice patches around about the rocks so I found one here and um, stuck the long lens uh, the wide angle lens on it we've still got a nice bit of light sitting on top of the buckle at the moment and um, so what I'm trying to do is get the ice and the cracks and the puddle in the foreground with the buckle in the background hang around for another five ten minutes and see if the light changes any and if not, then I'm going to head back to the car, head back down the road and look for another couple of places to go uh, just before I've got to go back for breakfast.
I'd spoken to another photographer there, uh, just as I was leaving Bukalet at Moor. Um, he drove up for Carlisle and the M74 was closed and managed to miss the sunset. It literally was five minutes late. Uh, but he was saying as he passed Loch Nacleis, um, a lot of the loch is frozen and there's some really nice reflections there as well. So I've decided to drive five minutes down the road uh, just to see if there's any images. The light's pretty much gone now, but there might be something in the foreground that can make a good image. So I'm going to have a wee look and then I'll go back, wake up Laura and have a bad breakfast. The photographer I met was right, uh, the lock is partially frozen, uh, but it's kind of black ice, there's not really much detail in it or anything. Um, it's nice all the same, there's some nice reflections, the light's not up too much so it does make everything look a little bit flat, um, but I might, I might just take the picture anyway and stick it up and see what you think. Uh, but I'm going to hang around for another 10 minutes or so just to see if the light does anything and get anything worthwhile. And then after that I'm going to head down the road, wake up Laura and get a bit of breakfast. Uh, this afternoon I think we're going to head to the Steel Falls, uh, I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to keep that for tomorrow's video or whether I'm going to do it today, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm looking forward to it and have a good wee day out. Back at the hotel and had a really good morning. Really liked two of the three images that they'd taken. On the way back down the road, the hail started, so did the sleet, and now it's starting to rain. So I think that might be the photography done for the day. But it doesn't matter because we had a good morning. I'm just going to go and grab a bit of breakfast and then relax for the rest of the day. So if you enjoyed the video, please press the thumbs up button below, and if you really enjoyed it, then press subscribe. So thanks very much, and I'll see you all there. Thank you.